a reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with a report. The children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said to all his servants who were with him in Jerusalem, Up, let us take flight, or none of us will escape from Absalom. Live quickly, lest he hurry and overtake us. Then visit disaster upon us and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount of Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered and he was walking barefoot. All those who were with him also had their heads covered and were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Bahurim, a man named Shimei, the son of Hera, of the same clan as Saul's family, was coming out of the place, cursing as he came. He threw stones at David and at all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and on his left. Shimei was saying as he cursed, Away, away, you murderous and wicked man. The Lord has requited you for all the budget in the family of Saul, in whose stead you become king. And the Lord has given over the kingdom to your son Absalom. And now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abishai, son of Zeruiah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, please, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business is it of mine or of yours, son of Zeruiah, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David, who then will dare to say, Why are you doing this? Then the king said to Abishai and to all his servants, If my own son, who came forth from my lungs, is seeking my life, how much more might this Benjaminite do so? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him so. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my afflictions and make it up to me with benefits for the curses he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road while Shimei kept up abreast of them on the hillside all the while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. Oh Lord, how many are my adversaries. Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, There is no salvation for him in God. Lord, rise up and save me. 
But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, rise up and save me. When I lie down in sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, rise up and save me. Please stand. 